um maybe those that are from the east would i don't know how it's called in your land but in in the east where i come from they say this um tumbom tumbom baskala but like is either this or that maybe this maybe that i'm not sure i'm just trying to go through the motions of a possibility that this is an outcome and god is saying that's not my intention my plan for you is not to guess through life my plan for you is not to stumble through life my plan for you is not to stretch your way through life running around blindly my intention is for you to be able to see by the spirit the things that i have built for you and run with them i have not called you to struggle through life i have not called you to guess through life i have not called you to assume through life i have not called you to 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 actually face um some obstacles through life. That's not what I've called you to do. I have called you by my spirit to empower you to fulfill life. So you going through life guessing was not my intent. And this is what I need everyone under the sound of my voice to understand that God's intent was not for you to guess. God's intent was not for you to assume. If you know this, then we will go very far in life. If you know this, then it's easy to be surrendered to God because when you surrender yourself to God, when you surrender to his plans, to his desires, to his wishes, then you can know that the end of your life is sure. The end of your life is sure. So that means that what is going on in your life the reason why we're faced with uncertainties the reason why we're wondering is this going to be the outcome of my life is that going to be the outcome of my life the reason why it seems like we're living in a limbo is because we have not plugged into the supply of the spirit that has been made available for us I want somebody to type in the chat, there is a mighty and abundant supply of the spirit for my life. There is a mighty abundant supply of the spirit for my life. So the Holy Ghost in us is not just for falling under power or getting excited in the now. The Holy Spirit is for every day. And that's the second thing that I want you to note tonight, that the Holy Ghost in you is for every day. The Holy Spirit in you is for the boardroom. The Holy Spirit in you is for is for everywhere, is for school, is for your marriage. The Holy Spirit in you, he doesn't pick and choose where he shows up to. He doesn't pick and choose the part of your life that he's interested in. He's interested in your health. He's interested in your finances he's interested in everything about you everything that makes you you the holy spirit is very interested in it and so it will be an aberration for you to limit him to a bite-sized possibility because that is what you feel safe enough to permit So tonight, I want to dare you not to limit God. I dare you not to limit God. I dare you not to put God in the box of your religion. I dare you not to put God in the box of your experiences. I dare you not to think about God like the people around your life. I dare you not to consider God, from the lenses of how men have treated you, how men have handled you, how men have seen your life and how men ha have handled your life. No, take God out of the box that you put him in. Take God out of the box that you've put him in. So there is a tremendous supply of God's spirit for your life and living. God has made that supply available. In the place of scarcity, 
God has made the supply of his spirit available. God has made himself available. God has not hidden himself from you. In the olden days, the spirits came upon them once in a while. The spirits came upon them to perform a task, to perform a function. The spirit came upon them temporarily. And then after the spirit was done, that was the end of it. But in our days, the spirit is within us. The spirit is in us. When we move, we move with the consciousness that God's spirit is in us that we are full of God's spirit. Oh, glory to God. Somebody declare, I am full of God's spirit. I am full of God's spirit.